Spacey Sims, and we are back with Muller Steam Prison, and we are going to start getting all of Elkreed's bad endings in this part. Um, I don't wanna, but, like, we gotta, so. Um, so we, I have loaded up one of the saves that we made, and from here on we are supposed to choose all the negative. So we are going to be skipping a lot, but we're going to start this. So this is... We're going to supposed to pick on the negative options. So this one we go, I want to go with you. Ooh. If they make trouble, then I especially need to accompany you. Even if something befell me, could you really assist me with that foot injury? You can walk around, but can you really fight? Could I stake my life on it? I'm glad you want to help, but this isn't the best. But this is the best for both of us. Please understand. Very well. <laughs> Don't look so sad. I will be back as soon as possible. Could you smile and give me a goodbye kiss? I, I can't do that. That's too embarrassing. I can't. Use fast mode. Okay. I just want to know. I wish there was an easy button to just click here. Okay. Because I'm like, I want to use fast mode until we get to our next choice. Because we've seen all the scenes. It's just those few things. Uh, now we are supposed to. Poor man. Poor Finn. Yes, but pity won't change his situation. Finn is with the hounds. It was hard to swallow for me, but I had seen it with my very own eyes. Okay, wait. Sorry, I, I had to look over. I was like, shit, we're supposed to save at some point. Okay, because we're going to get a different choice. Okay. Sorry, it's the guide is a little weird the way it's written. So anyway, it was hard to swallow for me, but I had seen it with my very own eyes. I had seen him there in the depths. Okay. I just don't know where it... I wish it would auto-pick up. You know what I mean? Um, Skipping. No, it's just there's several points in here because the guide goes and then I'm not sure where... Because we had gone down and we did all the right stuff and then we do a save three where we go... Do we do the fine fin or ask Ulrich? But I don't know where route two or this bad ending splits off because then there's a different choice. You know what I mean? Um, but please, I don't want to be a burden. I, you're not a burden. I want to eat out. So I invited you. It's the truth. El Crete. And do you want me to eat out and be attacked by ruffians on the way home? You'd regret it if that happened. That sounds almost like you're planning to be attacked. <laughs> Who knows? All right, then. I like your answer. I can hardly turn him down twice. Very well. I'll accompany you. Great. That's my night. Oh, cool. That tells you when you can skip. And when you can't. Cool. I like that. Because I know if that option is there. So I'm assuming this is... Well, yeah, this is probably the same. Yep. Okay, cool. So this is the last choice before I'm not sure where we, you know what I mean? Like before our last, the one save, we could have done that bad ending first, but I'm doing an order like save two, save. I mean, I guess I could have technically, we could have done the other one where we went after Finn. That would have been a straight up easy one to get, but we can do that next or whatever. Because I'm not sure how long the bad endings are. You know what I mean? Like, after our choice, the last choice we made when we're getting our good ending, it went on quite a ways. But I would think with bad endings, it's not going to go on too, too long. But who knows? This is interesting. It's Didn't it flip from Elkreed to Finn, now back to Elkreed again? Maybe it's just because I'm skipping so fast that... I didn't notice the little... You know what I mean? Alright, you can't change the past. No matter how harsh the past, you can't change it. So, please... Yes, I can't change it. I'm saying that I want to change the future. I'm the head of the bank, the leader of Liberalitas, the people's idol. <sighs> I can't sit around here. There are countless outside this mansion who suffer. Why did I forget who I was so badly? I feel like we've read that. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, here's the... I 
I'm assuming we still ask Ulrich, because here's the problem. Load, save two, which I did. Do all the negative options, which I've done. And then it's like, route continues. But I'm assuming we shouldn't choose find Finn yourself, because that would be bad. So I'm assuming we choose ask Ulrich cause to continue the route, because we want to continue the route. But I'm guessing we still get the next choice, which was our last choice, and then we got our good ending. This would just continue on. Well, actually, no, because then we have several choices after that. So, okay. No, this ending might actually go on a little bit longer. So, what were you talking about? Okay. What were you two talking about? I'm trying to leave because I don't want to talk about it. Can you see that? Ulrich, oh, I'm serious this time. And think about it carefully before you act. I'll try to remember. See ya. Yeah, he's still a child at heart. Serious? I wonder what kind of discussion they'd had. Um. Nope. I'm looking forward to our journey tomorrow. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's right. Oh god! This is the point where he was gonna, and then the. <gasps> Is this the ending where he died? Oh, God. I think there's going to be a couple that he... I just don't... I don't... No. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm looking at some of our later choices. I don't like this. All right. Oh, uh, I'm not. El cut me off calmly and without the slightest hint of nervousness. I hesitated and he continued. Oh, I know. Why don't you teach me more about the heights? Teach? Yes, I know a lot about the heights, but all of it is self-taught. I'd like to know more from you. He gently took my hand. That led me to the sofa and we sat down side by side. I'm not sure what to talk about, to be honest. It can be anything. Just talk about whatever comes to mind first. I like your voice and listening to it. I'm pretty sure we can't. Okay, so this is. That's. I'm going to guess that you didn't have to necessarily make the save where we did. It was probably just a matter of. If you have a certain amount of negative, you know what I mean? Like if you've made, but that implies you've made five wrong choices out of the entire game. But what I don't know is from this point on, there are a couple more choices, but what do you choose? Like, does it matter? Cause there's up and down. Do we choose the positive? Do we choose the negative? Like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, Anyway, it can be anything. Just talk about whatever comes to mind for. Okay, we already read that. Sorry. All right. My old home. I dredged up all the memories I had buried. I talked about how everything, including the population size, was regulated. How beautiful the streets were. I'm. There's literally a wall. Let's probably say you don't fall off the edge because, you know. I talked about how quiet and safe everything was compared to the depths and how happily my late parents had lived. So if there's like population control, then there's either birth control or there is like you're allowed to have one child. Okay, so you can so you actually probably can't have sex <laughs> like just for funsies because it's like you then you could accidentally get pregnant and they'd be like, um, to the depths with you because yeah, the heights kind of sound like a horrifying place to be. I'm kind of, I think we're better off here. Just saying. Anyway. Sounds kind of like, this place is fucked up. Some kind of weird ass religious cult is what it is. And Yune is at the center of it. <laughs> okay. He listened attentively to me as I spoke. Eventually, he began himself. You answered before that you weren't married. But you have a fiancé, right? Yes, I had a fiancé. Before I came to the depths, the engagement was called off. Called off? Yes, I don't know why. I'm curious about that. One day we received a letter from the government telling us to stop the preparations. I'd almost forgotten all that before Elkreed asked me. It wasn't even that long ago. It feels like it was an eternity. I wonder whether it was because I'd become comfortable in the depths. I see. Do you have a new fiancé? I don't know, but I doubt it. They exiled me after all. I see. I don't know whether to count that as a blessing or be dismayed at the boring lack of competition. Boring? 
Yes. Think about the sense of guilt you'd feel if you fell in love with a man who wasn't your fiancé. Isn't that exhilarating? I fucking love what a fucking weirdo he is. He's like, I wish you were engaged because it'd be so much sexier if you were and then you fell in love with me. Or join to be exciting and you're like, I just... Seems more complicated. Oh, I love complicated. Fucking weirdo. N no. And it's not just a sense of guilt. It would be a severe crime. But you're already in the depths for committing a crime. But I didn't do it. Yeah, but I mean... They don't give a shit. <laughs> She's a little fucking naive, but... Oh, <laughs> yes. A crime in the heights, but... It's not a good thing in the depths, either. I suppose we can still... We can call it a blessing, then. And this way I can tell you how I feel, and you don't have to feel guilty about it. Ow. Spacey, how do you think of me? I love you. Yes, I really love you. Even if love costs me my future... I'd still want you to know that I loved you. That's how deeply I feel. What about you? You were swept down here and towards me. Can you respond to my feelings? Yes, but you're gonna die in this route, probably. It's a bad ending, I mean... I'm assuming. I mean... It seems to be hard to express. <laughs> That's a little sad. I'll kissed my hair and smiled. Once all this chaos is over... I'll start with the basics again. The basics? Yes, how to communicate your feelings. I'll take my time so you learn it properly. I'm afraid. I look forward. I'm not sure what we should do here. Because it doesn't tell you um, if you do the good ending or the goods or the bads. So I'm actually going to save for a second over here. Let's just save over here just in case it makes a difference. But I'm thinking, well, there's a part of, I guess maybe it doesn't matter. There is one where there is a different ending. So the next choice, there is a straight up ending or we continue. So obviously, well, but that, I just, I also don't like the choices in the, okay, we'll get there. But so I don't know if we're supposed to choose. But for me, I almost want to choose the neutral. Like, I look forward to it. But I guess we'll just choose the plus one and see what happens. But but I knew how to do it without being taught. Oh, really? I'll have you teach me then. Uh, Push me down and ride on top of me. Rule all over. Rule over all I am. Maybe that'll open a new door for us. Push me down and ride on top. El, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell? Damn. P p push down! What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm poking fun at you for that adorable bluff. Yes, you really are adorable. I'd like to spend more time with you right now, but we have to wake up early tomorrow. We should sleep. Yes, um... Yes? You kissed my hair earlier, didn't you? What... what does that mean? A kiss on the hair means yearning. I'm in love with you. I can teach you more about kisses when we come back. You're planning to never come back, though. We know this. He took my hand and kissed the back. A kiss on the back of the hand is both respect and affection, my revered knight. Uh, good night and sweet dreams, my revered knight. Whatever. Y yes, good night. If he does that, it just becomes harder for me to sleep. I looked after him as he left and touched the back of my hand. I'm really confused to what we're supposed to do in the next choice. I really am. My knight. Yes, I'm the knight protecting him. I want to protect him tomorrow and all the days to come. If Elt's affection is high enough when you choose the choice that seems like the best one, that you get an ending there. I don't want to do the other... Okay, we'll get there. Protecting Elt was what I wanted to devote my life to. I can't read the rest of it because it kind of goes behind the screen, so... The next morning... We ate breakfast, finished our preparations, and were about to leave the residence. Elt looked even better than he had the day before. An innocent observer would have called him perfectly healthy. I couldn't help but be impressed with the medicine's effects on him. 
Let me on this door, Elkreed Valentine, the ruler of Liberalitas. I am the hope of the people. You'll see. Okay, let's go. I don't like this at all. I saw a large crowd in the daylight. It seemed that they'd come to witness their ruler depart for the heights as a representative of the depths. Their gaze was warm and the atmosphere optimistic. I see. He really... He hadn't been trying to impress or brag. He truly was the ruler of the district. He stood at the top, forging a future for his people. Elkreed Valentine. When I looked at him, he seemed to tower over me. Ulrich was supposed to wait here for us. I can't see him. What will we do? We have to wait. I can't do anything without him. I see. Oh, let me correct that. He can't do anything without me. Hmm. Wait. Um, that sounded like I was relying on Ulrich at first. I wish to correct that. That's all. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did I say something odd? I suppose I did, but wasn't enough to laugh about it. No, I didn't laugh because it was funny. You were acting oddly, that's all. Acting oddly? Yes, until we arrived here, you were composed and regal. It befits someone who rules over others. Just now you behaved exactly the opposite way. One moment, please. Yes? Um, thank you for the compliments. But what you said after that disturbs me. Does that mean that right now I'm not composed and regal, but crude and bumbling? Unfit to lead anything? N no, it doesn't. Don't worry. What I wanted to say, um, is that it represents how you are. Who I am? Yes, you said yourself that you have many faces. You showed one of them at the assembly, and you showed another just now. You are who you are. All of that is part of you. The side of you I like best is the one I can talk to like this. So, you love me. I I'm not saying that. I see. You want to marry me. Well, gladly. Let's make a happy family. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. For now. But one day... Is something wrong? Someone's coming. Is it Ulrich with the bomb? That's what we're waiting for. I found you! Finn, why are you here? Oh no, do we not even get to the thing? <gasps> we don't even get to the heights! Oh! This... Okay, the choice might make a little... Oh, okay. No, I knew why he was there. This time I will protect him. Swearing to myself that I wouldn't let the past repeat itself, I drew my sword. The next choice might make a little bit more sense now. No. Why? Why are you raising your sword at me? I just want to protect you. I don't want to hurt you. I have something to protect as well, and I will, Finn. Do you want that more than I do? I am your home. The home you have to return to. Are you going to say it's not so? Has he already deceived you that much? Deceived? Yes. It must be so. It must be... The Spacey I know wouldn't raise her sword at me. Wouldn't ignore my feelings. Wouldn't question all that I am. I will save you. I'll liberate you from that man. You saved me so often and now I can return the favor. But I have to restrain you first. He looks fucking crazy. He's about to put us in a cage. I still kind of do want his route, I'm not going to lie, but... Finn drew his sword and immediately attacked. I'm not saying I'd like it, but I'm just saying I want it. I wish that I didn't have to fight you. <laughs> it's not the first time. We used to go against each other a lot, didn't we? We had more time than we knew what to do with. I wish we could turn back the clock. That was training. We never fought in earnest. No, we didn't. But now you... Oh, Oh, but now you can look at how strong my love for you is whenever you block me. Ha! Yes, he's very strong. Finn was tall and muscular. I mean, the amount of time we've been down here, he's been down here too, training with the hounds. You know what I mean? So, he's had all this time. It's probably been at least a couple of weeks, if not a few months, right? To go fucking batshit crazy. And 
toughen up a little, because I'm sure Sasha wasn't fucking easy on him. Like, he, they were up in the heights. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's not that great, but whatever. It's fine. Like, I'm sure, sure Sasha beat the fuck out of him, so. What had been holding him back was his heart, but apparently all those restraints had been removed. He was a powerful fighter. I was the one who taught him how to fight. His movements, his grip, his defense. I taught him everything. Everything! What? Ah! The sword slipped from Finn's hand and his gaze strayed from me towards it. Now! I kicked his feet aside bringing, to bring him down. Ugh! I put my foot on his right hand when he lay on the ground to immobilize him. Then I pointed the tip of my sword at his throat. I win, Finn. <laughs> yes, it seems so. I suppose it was too much to ask. I can't overcome you after all. I couldn't save you. Hey, Spacey. You... You were... My hope. My reason to be alive. If I can't have you, I have no reason to be alive. Please, kill me. Kill me yourself. Wh what? I don't want any of this. I'm so tired. I don't want to live in a world where I can't be near you. Please, kill me. But I... This, that choice makes so much more sense. We're supposed to save there. This makes so much more sense. Because when I was reading and I saw the things and I'm like, well, we're going with Elric to go to the Heights and he's going to like commit suicide, right? And then I was like, reading this and it's strangle him, kill him with sword. I can't kill you. This leads to a different ending. Okay, that's why we save here. But, and I was like, I thought it was like, with elk greed and i was like i can't kill you leads to like a bad ending and then the other ones kill him i don't want to kill elk Creed. how this makes more sense when finch and Double's like oh, okay now i get it um the thing is strangle him kill him with sword neither one of these tells you if they're i guess they're both neutral but the sweet recompense ending it says if elk Creed's, hold on i'm gonna move my thing so you're gonna see my thing Okay, if Elkreed's affection is high enough, I'm trying to just move this so that I can read everything. Okay. Um, I thought, I didn't know if it continued past that because I couldn't see because, like, it comes, like, it ends, but then my Steam screen is, like, bigger. I can't get it to fit on my computer, like. Um, so I, okay. Well, we obviously don't want to get this ending yet. We want to continue and get the other one. So I guess we'll kill him with our sword because I feel like strangling him is a little too intimate. And like, I don't know if we could actually strangle him. Or should we strangle him? Would that be nicer? Let's just kill him with our sword. All right. That's what you want. I stood, my feet planted either side of his waist, and turned my sword to point straight down. I will kill you with my own hands. Thank you, Spacey. Have you ever killed someone? You know, I've killed others. Many, many others. I've killed so many I can't count them. It meant nothing to me. I was a very good hound. He's killed so many people as a hound. You've only been here for a few months max then. Like, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like, okay, it's been like at least a couple of months. But I've killed so many people. Like two? I mean, that's still a lot of people. Because, like, zero is the number you should aim for with in regards to how many people you should kill in your lifetime. It should always be zero. But, like, he just makes it sound like I've killed so many people in the couple of weeks I've been here. Like, where are they finding all these people to kill? I don't... It makes it sound like we've been out here for years. I don't think Sashin's killed that many people. I mean, he kills people that oppose him, but... There'd be nobody left in the Sanctuary District, like, if he killed that many people. I don't know. I think you're over-exaggerating. It's odd. After the first time I stopped feeling anything, I always remember the first one. You dream of it. The first one always stares at me from the abyss of death. Being your first. <laughs> it's an honor. Now then, stab me. Ha! <laughs> I put all my weight into my sword and thrust it into his chest. Oh my god, we really did actually kill him. That's fucking rough. His bones splintered. His organs were cleft. His flesh was ripped. And I felt all of it through my hands. Maybe we should have choked him. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes. His gaze wasn't focused. Wandering. 
But he took something from his pocket. That's... The Tistella family pendant. I wanted to give it back to you. All this time. You had it? Huh. <laughs> it's yours. I wanted to give it back. Nothing really went as I wanted. But this... I'm glad. Finn cast me a soft smile before he passed away. A single line of tears running down from his eye. This is kind of actually devastating. Like... We never got... We'll never get a Finn route. So it's not like you have a connection to him. Like, we went down his route and like, whatever. You know what I mean? I feel like it'd be more impactful if they had put Finn's route in here and you had gone down and that was the first route you went down. Then this would be so much more traumatizing, right? Because you'd probably be like, oh my God, Finn's so great. He's a good boy, right? And then you go to this, why did I kill him? But you still feel, you're like, he is crazy. And so you're like, no, fuck Finn, dude. But then at the same time, you're like, I, I felt bad that he risked his life for us. But you were going to kill Elkreed, so like, kind of fuck you. But at the same time, I didn't really want to have to stab you. And this is, um, damn. Like, and then Elkreed's going to be standing there like, I mean, I could have just shot him. You could have not killed him, you know? That wasn't an option. That would have led us probably to a, well, a different ending anyway. I don't know if it's necessarily bad, but... Blood and saliva pooled in his mouth and ran down his cheeks to the ground. Finn. It was what he had wanted, but I wasn't entirely blameless. Without me, he wouldn't have been on this path. I couldn't change the past, but it still made me intensely sad. I won't forget you. I will remember your death. I hope you rest in peace, Finn. I do like that she was strong enough to not hesitate, even though it was like her training kicked. She was like, I can't, I can't do it. Like at every other game where like, oh, I have some training, but oh, I can't. I need a man to save me. She's at least tough. And this would be the perfect time where if she was like, I, I can't do it and hesitated, you could understand why. But she was like, I mean, okay, like my training, you're a threat to Elkreet. And if I let you go, you'll probably still try to go after him and... I'm also honoring what you want. You want me to kill you? Right? Because you can't live without... All right. Like, I don't know. I mean, it still sucks. But at the same time, I'm kind of proud of her for, like, not blubbering and faltering and, like, actually being able to go through with it. So, because I don't think I could. I hope you rest in peace, Finn. I don't know if we read that, but anyway. I'm not sure how Elkreed's gonna... I put Finn's corpse with his back against the wall and closed his eyes. A new love. Love. A love can be a gift or it can be poison. It can heal you or drive you mad. And I was the one who drove him mad. I never realized how he felt. Even if you had, there was nothing you could have done. He wasn't allowed to love when he's a love someone he wasn't assigned, right? He knew it was a crime and he died loving you. He was a strong man. And that's the thing. He loved us, and then when he came down here, it was like, well, I mean, I'm in the the depths, and it's already illegal to... Ah! That's also why I kind of you feel bad for Finn now that Elkreed brings it up, because it's like, he loved us all the time in the heights, but he wasn't allowed to, so he kept it to himself, but then when we got thrown down here, and he came to... It does make me think that he killed our parents so that we could both be cast out, and what, because he knew what would happen. And then now we can free to be, feel free to love each other, right? Finn, that's not... What? And in a way, I kind of hope he is the one that killed our parents. Because like, I'm not saying that the whatever the, re the real ending is wouldn't be great. But I just feel like that would be in the... That would be in the Toma kind of-esque thing where you're like, The fuck do you love this man? He killed your parents. And then you're going to like forgive his ass? And that would make me angry, but it would also kind of like there's a part of me that kind of wants that just to be like the fuck i don't know why i want to be angry about it look at least if i'm going to be pissed off at a love interest and be like why why would you why would you love him after what he did it's not he put me in a cage it's he murdered your parents that's a legit reason to be pissed at him that's all i'm saying i, I don't know i don't know what these games have done to me that make me like think that that wouldn't be like like, you want it to, to be that way, but you also don't. Like, 
It's because you're like, but he's crazy and he's like literally mentally insane. So like, that's what gives me that like, maybe he did. I don't know. He probably didn't, but I'm just going to stick with that canon in my head until we get proven otherwise. So, because I just think that's interesting. Anyway. Yes, he was. Finn Euclid was a great partner. Thank you for everything, Finn. We should get one more choice. Hey! Ulrich! I wasn't sure he would come, Ulrich. Of course I'd come. You asked me to do this, so I did. Ulrich opened his bag and threw a small box to El... Whoa, careful. We don't want to drop this. Oh, what is that? A present for the Heights. It's a small music box. Pretty, right? El showed me the box, but not for long. Then he put it in his pocket. Ulrich, can you give this man a proper burial? Oh, we don't want to leave him for the crows. And this man? Oh, that guy. Okay, sure, I'll take care of it. Oh, that's cool, I never noticed that that elevator thing moved. Oh, look, apparently it's here. Came just in time. Yes, you were spot on. Perfect, perfectly on time. Good boy. There, there. Hey, stop that! Don't pat my head, idiot! Stupid! <laughs> I looked at their exchange and smiled. El turned towards me and smiled as well. Okay, just the music in this part. La, 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 happy music, and he's patting his head, everyone's being cute, and you're like, <gasps> we're basically going with all El with El Creed to his death right now. Like, we know this, right? Like, I guess if you had gotten this ending first, you wouldn't know, but, like, we know. I love your smile. I love it just as much as your gallant knightly side. I'm glad. Hey, can you two do all that when you're in the lift? It's gonna leave without you. Oh, sorry. Ulrich, and thank you for everything. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoy your time there. Finally, you get to go into your dreamland. I'll do my best. I hope you're well in my absence. See ya, Ulrich. Mm, goodbye. He's like, goodbye forever. He's like, you'll do well in my absence. Good luck in life. And she's like, that's odd. As we sat in the lift, I tried to decide how I should act once we reached the heights. I never truly expected to return. I, w oh, I wasn't coming back to prove my innocence. I was Elt's bodyguard. <laughs> Still, the thought of walking in my homeland again gave me a strange feeling. Fate is so mysterious. Yeah, and you're gonna die there. I wonder what Elt's thinking about. He had his head against the wall, staring off into nothing. And he closed his eyes. His breathing was even. Couldn't tell whether he was sleeping or awake with his eyes closed. But I knew one thing. It'll be hectic in the heights for us. I decided to sleep a little as well, if possible, so that I'd be well rested later. Uh-oh, he doesn't leave without us, does he? I never thought I'd come back. And you have memories of this place. Not of this room in particular, but of the outside, of course. Huh. Who the fuck is this dude? Well, who do we have here? Lord Evans. Warner Evans had come to welcome us. The Lord Speaker of the House of Lords. We say this like we know him. Behind him, two police officers glared in our direction. Do you know each other? After a fashion. This man is Lord Warner Evans. He is... We're strangers now, are we not? Yes, of course. Apologies. You must be tired from the journey. My name is Elkreed Valentine. Come to parley on behalf of the Depths. And thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Evans. You know, if you weren't so bitchy, you wouldn't have those frown lines. That's all I'm saying. The two police officers approached and began to search us. Also, his hair's not bad either. It's better than Finn's. What the fuck? Why did they do Finn such a disservice with the bad hair? Uh-huh. The man is clean, Lord Evans. The woman is carrying a sword. Clearly! He, like, searched them! She's got a sword! <gasps> I mean, it's fucking evident. He, like, says that like you can't fucking see it. Elt spoke before Lord Evans could. 
And she's my bodyguard. I'd like for I'd like permission for her to carry a sword. Surely if she attempted an attack, you could easily fight off a single woman. Huh. <laughs> Very well. I allow it. My name is Warner Evans. I'm the Lord Speaker of the Temple's Assembly. I'll offer to shake his hand, but Lord Evans continued. Our talks take place this evening inside Parliament. Afterwards, there'll be a dinner party. We ask you to remain in the Temple's guest rooms until then. Guest rooms? The reception wasn't particularly bad. Still, I... Lord Evans, may we use my, may we use my family's estate instead? What? What are you plotting? Nothing at all. I was exiled to the depths without much time to prepare. I don't need much time there. Simply want to remember my time with my family. That's a nicety that I'd be surprised if they grant. Ah. Uh, wow. I think your family's estate has fallen under temple management. Why not? Use it, but stay inside. I will post guards. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's shocking. Lord Evan snorted, turned around, and left. A dinner party, huh? I wonder if this means we're welcome here. Mysterious developments. I waited until Lord Evans had left the room before he turned towards me. Forgive me for asking, but what exactly is your connection to Mr. Evans? Wait, was that going to be our father-in-law? Oh, okay. That's what I was just... I was. I couldn't remember what... Was his name Fitzgerald or something? I couldn't remember what his last name was. And then when she, she's like, oh, he's Lord Evans. I was like thinking in the back of my head, like, are we supposed to know? I'm like, wait. Maybe, but, like, I wasn't 100% sure because I didn't remember what her fiancé's last name was. Barely remember his name. Was it Fitzgerald? I don't remember. He's the father of my former fiancé. I didn't know him well. We never spoke much. But then again, he might have had something to do with why the marriage was revoked. To be honest, I'm surprised that he remembers me. I see. I'm glad that he isn't part of a painful memory for you. Painful memory? Yes. I'd prefer to be on even ground when I negotiate. Well then, let's go to your former home. Officers, lead on. The police officers didn't say a word, but they escorted us away. Uh-huh. <laughs> the people in the Heights are so taciturn. Taciturn? Taciturn? I don't know. There's Yune, just to... He's gonna get tired just standing up there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. I'm sorry, I was... I know it's not really him standing up there. That was a dumb... Shut up. The police officers ignored us the whole journey. Lord Evans had been right. Apparently my family home was now under the authority of the temple. The police officers unlocked the front door for us. And all your shit's gone. People have gone through and touched your underwear. I can't stay here, but I'm back. I had complicated feelings walking back into my home, but at least a part of me was happy. I have so many good memories of this house, but... It was also the house in which my parents had been murdered. I looked around the room. Everything was as I remembered it. And yet the realization that my parents would be nowhere to be found within the house made me sad. I shouldn't wallow in my misfortune. I can't... I'd come to the Heights as Elt's bodyguard. I had to put him first. It's a modest house, but please feel welcome. It's not modest at all. I see. So this is your birthplace. It's kind of interesting. We're bringing Elkreed into our home. This was my home. This is my childhood home where I lived. And I'd introduce you to my parents, but they're kind of dead. Um, But, like, it's kind of adorable in a way. Because, like, deep down inside she loves and wants to marry the man. I don't know if we're going to make it out of here alive. But, I'm just saying. He stood in the middle of the room and looked around, taking in the sight of every item. The vases, the silverware, the flower pots. He lifted up everything he could find to look at it. He really loves things from the heights. It's probably the first time anybody had displayed so much interest in the things inside my family's house. And that, But then does it, he loves things from the heights. Is that the only reason he loves me? That's going to make you debate. I have faith in Elt, but I'm just saying. I could understand where she'd be like, huh. Nobody seems to have cleaned here. There's a lot of dust. I have to apologize. Ah, uh, yes. 
But the dust only adds to the beauty, I think. It makes me feel that ultimately my house is just a bad imitation. A bad imitation? Yes, I had all the furnishings of my house made by craftsmen who'd been exiled from the Heights. They did the best they could, but since they had to use different materials, it isn't the same. You must have lived happily here with loving parents. Where do they get the trees for all their wood? I just want to know. Because, like, I mean, I think we saw trees were growing, but the trees would have to be a very limited commodity in the Heights. And, like, with the amount of time it takes for trees to grow. Also, how the fuck are trees growing on this giant pedestal thing that's in the sky? I'm just... I mean, I guess they don't need that much, but then, like, you thought about this, like, oh, a great flood's coming, so let's build a giant base that's on an elevator shaft, and then make sure we put dirt and plant, and, like, you had enough time to plan this? I'm just saying. This is some fucking weird shit. I know, I don't know, I get too invested in, like, what the fuck is the backstory for real? Like, I need the logistics. But, like, I'm just saying, anyway. Uh, I believe you're loving yeah. Yes, they often complained about how interested I was in masculine topics, such as swords and justice. My father was a man's man, and my mother a gentlewoman. They were wonderful parents. And well, that's good. And may I see your room, too? Of course, I'll show it to you. He's like, <laughs> show me your room. We walked through the hallways until we reached my room. Everything was quiet except for our footsteps. Nothing has changed here. The owners are never going to return, but the house kept waiting for them hardly changing. I told myself that the building wasn't a living organism, but it still hurt me how loyal it, loyal to us it felt. This is my room. It's even smaller than the room you were in before. Um, it's not very feminine, but utilitarian. I'm sorry. And that's quite all right. And this room is like you, and that's nice. I sat down on my bed and looked out the window. The sky in the heights is so beautiful. Yes, it really is. Out looked at the sky without saying anything. He was looking at the sky on a, the sky a lot on the way here as well. Do you like the sky? Huh. You grew up here. I'm sure it's nothing special to you. And the clear blue seems to go on forever. Like an ocean washing my soul clean. The wind feels good too. I opened the window a little and let the wind into the room. It ruffled through Elt's hair and his clothes. You're right. The air is so dry here in the heights. Nothing like it in Liberalitas. And the smell... Uh... But... He stood up a little and pulled me by the hand until I sat on his thighs. Whoa. <laughs> Your hair smells so sweet. He closed his arms around me from behind and kissed my neck. Uh, El... This world was left behind by time. Almost nobody here in the heights knows me. Here I'm not the object of people's hopes and dreams. Here I can be myself. This world is like a dream to me. His breath tickled on my skin and I arched my back. He laughed. I'd like to hear more about your parents. Only the things you want to tell me, of course. How was, there, how was life here? Tell me about your happiness. About the happy memories you have of here. I want to indulge in your memories with you. The sun was beginning to set. Before we went to the temple, I wanted to talk to Elt about what was in store. <laughs> What's going to happen after the talks? I don't know. You don't? Why not? What did the letter say? Only that they wanted to talk. I didn't even know about the dinner party until earlier, so I can't answer your question. Is that really normal for an invitation? I tried to wrap my head around the strangeness of the invitation to the Heights. Meanwhile, Elt had other concerns. Whatever the temple wants aside, what do you hope to get, Elt? Out of this? I haven't thought about it. What? I might adore the Heights, but to them I'm simply a low-born fool stupid enough to willingly enter their stronghold. I doubt I'll leave alive. I expect to be killed. What? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. Of course, I'd like to avoid a meaningless death, but it seems unlikely to me that I can avoid it. It was the agreement. He took a small box from his pocket. That's the gift you got from Ulrich. Yes, 
and this only looks like a music box. It's a small bomb. He worked hard to have it made for me on short notice. We don't really know how powerful it really is, but it should manage to take everyone in a 10 meter radius with me. Take with you? El, did you come here to end your own life? Yes, I did. But we talked so much about what we were going to do later. Yes. You wanted to teach me more when we got back. You can't do that when you're dead. I'm sorry, but I made my decision. If the negotiations are successful, then all the better. If they break down, we agreed I would die. I'm the hope of the people in the depths. If I'm killed in the heights, they'll have a reason enough to attack and conquer the heights. Once their conquest is successful, posterity will remember me as the hero who died for them. And that's what they said. They... I remembered the meeting with the other representatives. They had asked me to leave the room. That must have been when they told him that. I have a feeling this ending is going to be either left open like we don't know if they lived or died and we just have to assume they died or we're going to straight up know that they died. I don't know, but... And you'll do it just because they told you to? They're telling you to be a pawn in their game. How can you agree to that? Don't you... Don't you want to live out? <laughs> What I want. Uh huh. No. Oh. Of course I want to live. Everyone does. But once I die, it's all over. I won't be able to move or talk or love anymore. I won't be able to touch you anymore, or listen to you, or see you smile ever again. I don't want that. I have so much more I want to do. Death comes for all of us and the march of time can't be stopped. Everything disappears eventually. I know that, but I'm not ready for it yet. I want to live. But then, and that path isn't open to me. There are bigger things at stake than my own life. Until now, I've gotten anything I desired. Prestige, wealth, anything. I was happy with that, but looking back on it, I understand something. When you lead others, you don't oversee them. They carry you. I have my family's servants, the employees at my bank, and indeed all the people in Liberalitas. They're mine, and in return, I can no longer be myself. Happiness at having obtained fame and admiration is short-lived. To preserve it, sacrifices must be made. I sacrificed myself to be a hero. I reached out to all those seeking help, listened to the... Uh, listen to the ailing. The more good deeds I did, the less I became myself, and an empty existence merely called Elk Creed Valentine. The more you do for others, the harder your shell becomes, with less and less inside. I explain to others that love is infinite, but my love for myself is a distant memory. It's only fitting that I should die as a representative. I'd like that. And when the curtain falls, they'll say Elk Creed Valentine died bravely. He's so beautiful and precious that I just don't want him to die. We're gonna die with him, it'll be okay. I regret nothing in coming here. I wanted to come again one day anyway. But you... I regret bringing you here. I wanted to spend more time with you. My selfishness has brought you here. I don't need your protection any longer. I don't want you to die with me either. I want you to try to escape. Alone? Yes. I don't know the area and couldn't hide, but you know the heights. You could survive. Perhaps I'm being too optimistic. And actually, I'm assuming... I'm assuming the choice doesn't matter here. But of course we're gonna be like, um... I'll be your knight and protect you. Well, or we will be together until the end actually would work as well. But... We're gonna go into death with you, El. No, I will go with you. Not as your bodyguard, but as your knight. As my knight? Yes, not as your employee, but out of loyalty to the life you live. You haven't entirely accepted death yet. You want to live. Don't forget that. I'll sweep away whatever disaster might befall us with my sword. Don't give up. Struggle and fight to survive. 
struggle. That doesn't sound especially dashing or elegant, but all right, I will try. Thank you, Spacey. I'm glad I met you, but if I had known this is how it would end, we should have passed each other by. <laughs> I'm annoyed at my own selfishness. I think you'd be well served to be more selfish. I wonder. Yes, you would. When I met you, I thought you lived a carefree life, but I saw how much you cared. Everything you've done since I met you has had those around you in mind. I never saw anything that was truly for yourself. If we make it back somehow, then you need to be more selfish. I'll be there to support you. <laughs> Thank you. You're making it harder and harder for me to face death. I'd like to keep talking to you here, but we need to get going. Shall we? Hey! Stop! Yes, let's go. You be nice. You don't scream like that. That's gross. When I followed Elt, I stopped and turned around. I don't think I'll ever come back to this house. I was born and raised there. It was, it would always be, my home. And I probably wouldn't go back to the depths either. I was unlikely to see the morrow. Time is a damaged hourglass, spilling sand it can never retrieve. Life is water from a leaky bucket, disappearing forever under the sun. I wonder if that's our end. But I swore an oath. An oath to him. I will keep it. I, Spacey Tistella, swear to serve you with my sword and life. I will protect you from all disasters until the final hour. Curious about the title of this ending, though, if we die. I'm just saying. Maybe Yune won't let him, them kill us. What's the meaning of this? When we entered the conference room, we were greeted by chaos and noise. Visitors from the depths were rare, of course, but apparently a large number of nobles and high-ranking officials had come. All of them were talking animatedly. Um. Well, this isn't unexpected. Elt was smiling as he whispered to me. Is this really going to end badly? A man came up to us while I was still lost in gloomy thoughts. Welcome. Let's start the talks. As if. Oh. How come he says, welcome, let's start the talks, and then Warner Evans says, as if. Not even our rats would deign to negotiate with filth like you. Oh. Let's start the talks. I mean, as if. Okay. I get what's happening now. It took me a minute. I was like, wait a minute. He's like, let's start the talks. As if. He was like, let's start the talks. I mean, I'm just kidding. We're here to kill you. So, okay. I, I was hoping maybe it would go well. Lord Evans. Elt held me back before I could attack him and smiled softly. I see. But the hounds are still our prisoners. Will you let them die? Of course. They haven't been part of the population planning since we sent them down into the depths. Their loss means nothing. The hounds aren't men, they're dogs. They disappear, we'll refill their ranks. Do whatever you want with them. How sad that you've come all this way. Perish, insolent man. Someone kill these two. Got it. I expected this, yet it falls short. Elt reached for the gun concealed in his breast pocket. I'm assuming that's Yune. Because why, who else would be, like, popping up here? Because Finn's dead, right? So, kill these two? Yeah, okay. It is Yune. Uh, Saint Yune. A clear voice rang out, silencing the room. In the quiet, the sound of his footsteps seemed almost playful. It's just, he looks like he's eight. I know he's probably our age or like a year younger or something. Okay, he's like 400 fucking years old, but why he gotta look 12? I don't like lolly boys, you know that I don't. So it's really weird. He could have looked a little bit older instead of like... But again, I know he's like 400, but it's still weird. Like, that doesn't make it like, oh, you met vampires and one of them looks like fucking 12. He's like, well, I'm actually 400. Still... That's gross. <laughs> like, sorry. Your actual age means nothing if you look like you're 12. It's still creepy. 
all I'm saying. And again, I know people get mad at me for this all the time. I mean, he's the same age as you. Like when I'm a 16 year old girl and the lolly boy is actually my age or older. And it's like, yeah, but he looks, tw that's, that's what matters to me. It's creepy. I, it would matter to me if he was actually 12 too. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, I don't care if he's 20. If he looks 12, it's fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if we're 16 and he's like 15 or okay fine that's weird but like I don't know I, anyway I forget what the voice we gave him was but anyway I heard that someone from the depths had arrived how very mean of you not to report that Warner Evans your holiness I apologize I meant to report their arrival but it seems I blundered yes a blunder you need to work properly from now on Especially since it seems that lives depend on it. Yes. So he's gonna... We're not gonna die? Oh, hail Yune! Woo! <laughs> I mean, he's basically God, right? Saint Yune appeared to be satisfied with that and turned toward... It. Okay, he's just a saint. Whatever. Close enough. He looked between us a few times before he turned toward El... I remember her, but... I don't remember you. Actually, I do... I think I've met you before, but we've met, haven't we? Yes. My name is Elkreed Valentine. Thirteen years ago, I attended the party during your 400-year commemoration of your reign. My father attended as the representative of the Depths. Yeah, so he's over 400 years old. <laughs> Thirteen years ago when you were 400? The commemoration of you being a saint for, 1400, for 400 years. So he's even older than that. I mean, like... But still, it's weird. Valentine. Ah, uh, I remember. Uh, during his audience with me, your father was confident and pleaded with me to improve life in the depths, and yet you didn't. I remember that very well. How is your father? Sadly, he died from stress and exhaustion before I reached adulthood. I see. My condolences. The good die young, don't they? What the fuck is your excuse? That's an interesting turn of phrase for him. The good die young. So, like, what you're saying is you shouldn't be a saint and you're, like, the devil incarnate because you're over 400 fucking years old. Choice of words. Why have you come here now? I don't suppose there's a 413-year commemoration. Your Holiness... That would be our responsibility. Elt's expression twisted almost imperceptibly as Lord Warner spoke. What's the problem? Think of it as streamlining the bureaucracy. All right, Elkreed. What were you going to say? Elt nodded and began sternly. <laughs> the wanton violence of the hounds, which the heights have dispatched, is beginning to affect the depths. And their conduct was especially questionable lately, and contributes to the discrimination of those from the heights. And due to the long-held grudges, the situation is tense, and our relationship with the Sanctuary District is a powder keg. A powder keg? Wow, can't read. And the hounds are in our custody as bargaining material. We request certain measures from the leaders gathered here. To limit suffering, we request you investigate the behavior of the hounds. We also request you improve the living conditions in the Sanctuary District. Just in the Sanctuary District? You don't want us to send aid to your district? <laughs> Quite so. I've got me representing the other districts as well, and they want me to extract as much money from you as I can. But I believe that's not necessary. Good old Elk. My own district, Liberalitas, and the rest of the Debs are in no particular straits, and the people's lives are proud and free. And the same cannot be said of the Sanctuary District. The people are forced to flee through sewer pipes from the squalor and tyranny there. And the depths are not a refugee camp. We can only take those willing and capable of working hard, but the influx of paupers has eroded public safety, and no one stands to gain from that. Human beings can accept the help of others, but eventually they have to stand on their own feet. Only animals are happy in total dependence. If you want reparations, then I can convince the others somehow. But please, I'll let the people live like human beings again. 
Because they've committed a crime that you think, like, okay, the guy stole a bag. He got sentenced down there. Okay, fine. We murdered our parents. I mean, but it's like you're sending them all and you're all treating them like garbage, especially like, what's her face? God, what was her name? I forget her name. But anyway, her lovely best friend. Ryleth. Right, because all I remember was Merlot. But like, she was forced down there because she loved someone that you deemed was wrong for her. Like, um, that's not the person you're supposed to marry. You're going to hell. Like, I mean, you're kind of, your rules are fucking bullshit. The least you could do is treat the people that you're sending on there for bullshit reasons better. I mean, the murderers I kind of get, fine. But, like, that guy stole a woman's bag. I don't think he should be tortured for that. Like, I mean, he's got to be punished somehow. But, like, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> like, you're treating a woman, a guy who stole a bag. A woman who loved someone and a murderer the fucking same. That's just a little fucked up. Although we didn't actually murder our parents, so I'm just saying, but... Elt spoke confidently, and when he closed his mouth, the room was silent. Okay, let's do that. St. Yune's response ended the silence. Lord Warner vigorously shook his head. Your Holiness, please don't make unilateral decisions! Can the people of the Depths really wait for you to decide? We have to act first. We can always talk later. See them return safely to the Depths. Take special care that nobody with a grudge toward the Depths can harm them. Yes, Your Holiness. Okay then, Elkreet, thank you for coming here. I apologize for our lack of control over the Hounds. It doesn't matter where we live. We should always strive towards peace. It's idealistic, but one should hope. If you're not looking for war, then I'd like to help you. Perhaps we can build a positive relationship. I'm just going to leave this box here. <laughs> I'm just He's like, it's not that I had a bomb on me or anything. Shh, look, that was just precautionary measures. Do we actually get a decent ending? Morning. Miraculously, we survived to see the sunrise and were bound for the depths. I'm shocked. I don't know how long this is going to go, so I'm going to give it another few minutes and see, and we might have to end it in the next part and then do it. You know what I mean? But I kind of wanted to... But we're over time, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like we should be coming to an ending, but... I didn't think I'd go back to the depths. I'd been certain I'd die above and never return. Return. <laughs> oh, is something funny? Oh, it's nothing really... I was happy to be returning to the depths. That amused me. I was born in the heights and lived in the heights most of my most of my life, pretty much all until now, but I thought I would die there. But right now, the depths feel like my home. It's fascinating. I see. Yes, life is strange. I never thought I'd be able to meet St. Yune again, nor that he would remember me. Oh, we still have time until we arrive in the depths. May I tell you a story? I want to talk about the past. It's those gorgeous purple eyes and how ridiculously amazing you are. And Yune's like, I remember you. Like, Elk Creed's perspective. Okay, if he's going to tell a story, I feel like we should end this. So I'm actually sorry we didn't get our ending because I figured we would get this ending in this part, but we're not going to. So we'll continue in the next part. And depending on how long it goes, um, we will either just leave this ending or we'll just continue and get other endings so um it's weird because this one's got a lot but i don't want to do like oh it's 10 minutes and that's all you get or if it's 30 minutes like maybe we'll just leave it like that and then do it but there's going to be other endings that are probably going to be quick so i don't know i think we'll just do now all of our bad endings together and just a bunch of parts until we get them all and stack them. I don't know. So anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. But I'll see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.